Hey Yins, what's up? It's Amanda and welcome back to Beauty and Recovery. I'm gonna fix the camera in a minute. And yes, I am in my car. I just went to Starbucks and I figured what a better place to sit and talk about makeup. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be the best quality with the lighting in the video. I literally am in my car, but we are gonna do the second installment in my List or Later series and we are gonna go talk about makeup releases, sneak peeks, and all of that. This series is inspired by Amy Loves Makeup, Angelica Nequist, Katie Marie, because she did a rapid fire one last week and I feel like I'm gonna have to do that today because I got places to be and things to do. And also, Samantha March is the original creator of this video, the Will I Buy It, and I will link all their channels down below and the Will I Buy It community playlist. So if you are interested in talking about new makeup releases, make sure to keep on watching, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and comment down below what you guys are going to pick up, if anything. Okay, so I am going to try to stay in frame as best as I can. The first thing I'm going to talk about is from Classy Cake Cosmetics, and she showed some sneak peeks of some of the shades that she's going to be putting in her Halloween palette, and she says she has like 30 shades, and this is the brand that has my absolute favorite shimmer formula. So Sandra has released swatches and pictures of some of her. These are her Halloween extras and they're like multiple colors in a pan and they just look so pretty. And then there's one glowy blush I believe and she has neon candy which is like a turquoise shifty white and an orange and a yellow or no it's more of an orange shifty i'm sorry i think i'm thinking of another one and the brush swatches oh yeah it is it is a turquoise shift in this color i was right and then she has phantom which is like this really pretty it looks to be a yellow base shadow or sh i'm sorry white and then this like really pretty black so when those mix together they're gonna be real real cute and then she has frankenstein's flare and is that a hollow freaking shimmer y'all oh my it's green and purple and then there's a hollow in the middle of it okay sandra and then monster mash and i believe that is the blush so yeah i'm gonna try to pick these up i really really want to get these and i know she said she's gonna aim to have these released on september 1st so that she can she's a one woman show and she's freaking amazing so basically she's gonna try to get them all out before halloween that's why she's releasing them so early i'm excited i am so excited to see everything that she comes up with okay next is from the brand tammy tanuka sorry this sun's making this hit weird and making me dark my camera's just gonna like adjust the lighting and be messed up and i'm really sorry okay so the next is a palette from tammy tanuka and is the peaceful earth dragon and there's two formats one is like full size with 12 grams of product and then there's a micro micro tester one that has 3.5 grams so this is a russian indie brand and i know it says 2000 rubles i'll put up on the screen what the conversion that of that is in us dollars this is a really cute palette i've been really really interested in trying this brand it's just so hard to navigate their site i know amy loves makeup did and she just basically told me oh they have an english version but still like the translations aren't that great and trying to navigate it is kind of difficult but this is a cute palette and if i'm able to find it on the site i feel like i'm gonna maybe go for it i mean why not it looks so pretty and those grungy neutrals are everything and these are like her first pressed formula she does a lot of loose pigments which i love pigments anyway but i'm be really curious to try it in a palette because truth be told i do get more use out of palettes because it's all together and sometimes i'm just lazy and then next this was a sneak peek from omfg cosmetics and then they also started releasing some of the pictures and these are like five pan 
palette mini palettes and I, there are four of them I think maybe five and I'll put up pictures of the ones that they've released thus far they kind of give me like Natasha Denona vibes but they are supposed to be coming out on September 1st and from the release or from the sneak peeks that I've seen they're really neutral and they look really really light but they are $14 and they release on September 1st they give me major Natasha Denona vibes but I don't know I have a cup one palette I from OMFG cosmetics so I would be curious to try more from them but probably a bigger palette is what I would really want to try from them they also have a pretty primer and this is gonna retail for nine dollars and it looks like they have different shades of it it's a tinted eye primer base and it's also going to be releasing on september 1st next is a sneak peek of three of the shades from the adept cosmetics plain jane palette last week i showed you a sneak peek of like the packaging of the palette and they said they're going to be releasing a new sparkly formula so they did release three shades of that or not release they sneak peek three of those shades and they haven't have a they don't have a release date for this one yet but i think it's really pretty i mean these look kind of cute so i'd be cons i want to see what mattes they're gonna pair with this but plain jane kind of makes me think neutral i don't know could be wrong but we will see and then we have a sneak peek from i guess something from jlo i guess she has a beauty brand i didn't know that i don't pay that much attention so i guess we'll see more later and then we have the soft reset aha exfoliating solution by summer fridays this is a powerful three-in-one solution packed with 16 percent ahas and niacinamide to exfoliate and visibly brighten skin while reducing the appearance of pores, visibly smoothing and refining the skin's texture overnight. Lactic acid smooths the look of fine lines and visibly reduces other signs of aging. Niacinamide visibly clarifies and refines skin texture while minimizing the looks of pores for a smoother, more even toned appearance. And glycolic acid exfoliates, unclogs pores, visibly brightens and retexturizes skin and diminishes the look of fine lines and discoloration. So this is a new skincare product from that brand. It's sold at Sephora and on their website and I don't see a price for it but I do really like the Ordinary's night or AHA exfoliating solution that red one I really do like that so I don't know it would depend on the price because the Ordinary and Good Molecules have like really great prices for great products so we'll have to see and then next is a sneak peek I guess from KKW for a skincare brand. Moisturizers, lotions, creams, cleansers, toners, facial scrubs, body scrubs, facial mist, serums, masks, balms, facial oils, locking my car because bad people. Mask, balms, facial oils, body oils, peels, powders, and more coming soon. I feel like everybody's coming out with a skincare line. Some people, it makes sense for them to have a skincare line coming out. Some don't. I don't know. I almost like bit the bullet and bought that new palette with her BFF, but then I didn't because I think I would rather have the one size palette by Patrick Star or the visionary palette from one star if I'm gonna buy a neutral palette. And then here's a sneak peek from Grey Mills Bath and Body Spa, Spa and their glosses that she's trying to formulate. I know she was like looking into formulating some cosmetics, but check out their site. She was nice enough to give me a code and it is BIR15 and you can use that at checkout for a 15% discount. So these are just glosses and this looks like a hollow glitter gloss. So when they do come out, I will probably be checking those out. Okay, next is from Melt Cosmetics and this is available now. And this is one of their digital dust duo blushes. I don't know, man, Melt be too inconsistent from what I see for me to be like, oh my God, I want it. And these are $39 each. And I think someone said they were like $125 or something like that for the set. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But this is a luminous, multi-use, revolutionary blush duo in the coveted skin perfecting digital dust formula buildable allows you to go from a natural dewy flush to having an intensified luminous look the compact features two buzz worthy shades that can be used alone or mixed for a customized radiance there is queen bee a warm bronze and honey gold raw honey mauve brown and pink beige buzzkill coral nectar and peach champagne and yeah i don't know not very interested in that but i don't think any of them would work for my skin tone and that's totally fine i just i don't know i get a little nervous about melt cosmetics with all the reviews that are just kind of like eh. okay next is another one of my favorite brands and this is notice beauty 
And this is the Mermaid Secrets Glitter, or Multi-Chrome Glitters. I don't love glitter, so I won't be picking this up, but there are so many things on her site that you should check out that are just so beautiful. These are so pretty. If they were just her regular shades, I would for sure get them. And she also has a mystery box option available right now. You can get it as like chromatics, which are just her regular shades or her multi-chromes. So super cool. I think you should check her out for sure. And the next is Wicked Cosmetics. And this is the last collection that they're going to be doing cosmetics in. I know they're going to be shifting their brand stuff to a different direction, but this is a black liquid lipstick in the shade Miss and it looks really cute. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for this one, but I'm gonna go here. And this is Nocturnal Cosmetics. And these aren't new, but their single shades are $2.99 a piece right now, and they may be not coming back. So this is another brand that I'm checking out. So I did pick up some of the single shadows there. So I think you should check them out. And then I mentioned this right at the end of my video last week. And this is Rosewood Cosmetics Fall and Winter Gloss Collection. And they are pre-orders right now and they will be shipping on September 1st, which is the release date. So they have a lot of just like fall and wintery colors, dark browns, reds, mauves, purples, black. She has a super unique gloss formula. It is like super, it is super pigmented, but it's not messy and it's not, I don't know. I just think it's really, really pretty. Next, are these Kim She Chic Beauty palettes? She released like four, like nine pan palettes and I really like that green one. And then there's an all matte one. So pretty. And I really like her formula. I have the Two Queens One Desert palette. And that's really nice. I love working with that palette. And the shades are so unique. And they're not unique, but they're not like Everyone said that they were similar, and I don't really think that. I think they all are very different with their tones, and they blend together very nicely. And then they have the Happiest and Sweetest pa sweetest Palettes, and it's called the Happy Palette Collection. And one is all neutral, and one other one has a little bit of neutral and some pops of color in it for $25. And the little 9-pan palettes retail for $14, and those are available now. I think they're so 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 pretty next is a new palette from posh culture co and this is color me 90s and this is a mini eyeshadow palette with six vibrant neon shades i'm gonna check how much this retails for i know it is available now i have their color me caribbean palette and i like it it's not bad it's not one of my favorite formulas but it's good and it was a good i got it for a great price but i think it's another brand that people should check out next is unique beauty with an e and they they are releasing their shimmer eyeshadow formulas as singles in paper packaging to reduce waste. So they are a UK indie brand. And I know they just released the fashion magazine palettes, those mini ones. But someone said this is their favorite shimmer formula. So you know I want to check because I know what my favorite shimmer formula is. And I know we all have different wants and needs when it comes to makeup. I don't know. I'd be willing to check them out. And then I know this is a bit old, but this is the Baby Bat Beauty Summer Goth Palette. And it's coming back to the website. I know they sold out with their first batch, but now it's coming back. And this is cute. I I like it. I do. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up. Probably not because it is so old. But I would like to check out Baby Bat Beauty a little bit more here in the future. And then is Lucky Bunny Cosmetics. And this is their Gluttony Palette. They released, I guess it's going to be like the Seven Deadly Sins, I guess. They had two other palettes that I saw. They had a green one and a purple one. And I forget the names of those ones. I'll put it on the screen. But this is a pretty blue palette. And the price wasn't bad. Like once I did the conversion with the shipping, it was like $29. I'm, I'm still deciding if I want to get this. There's a couple things that I am probably going to be picking up this week so i don't know maybe maybe not this one maybe the next one that they come out because i'm assuming they're going to be coming out with more palettes we'll see and then we have a glow recipe antioxidants rich super fruit with high concentrations of vitamin c it's going to retail for 42 dollars vegan collagen silk proteins are potent plant-based powerhouse ingredients that strengthen the skin barrier by guarding against free radicals you're supposed to use it before moisturizer dispense one to two pumps and gently pat onto the damp face and neck until fully absorbed for even deeper hydration layer the serum twice 
price and I guess this will be available on September 1st but it's also gonna be in the trend mood number seven box okay and then I did want to shout out this brand called the Gutterfly, and they make a lot of clothes they make clothes shoes that are all digital artistry and they're amazing I know I had a shirt on before that said definitely not on drugs and that was who made that shirt she's releasing blown glass straws layered with polymer clay and set with real stones they're so pretty i think you just check out her website and i'm sure you will find something and i know she does custom orders as well so make sure to check that out next is salt new york and they are doing a pre-sale for their cream products and if you do a bundle with the four or more shades you can use the code bundle to save 30 percent i still really want to check them out because i just i love cream products so maybe i will pick it up but i know it's not supposed to ship until november or december so do be aware if you do order that now it is not going to ship for a long time now the nude collection for from juvia's place their lip collection is now at ulta and then sparrow cosmetics they are dropping a new highlighter on on 9 4 and it's called naples and this is really pretty this is definitely a brand that i really 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 want to check out so it shifts from like white gold to a bubblegum pink into like an orange it is so pretty and then they have another new highlight also launching on 9 4 called lawn and this will be a part of an eyeshadow palette oh and they're gonna oh i can't wait maybe i'll finally try sparrow cosmetics now when i see the palette and what it is i'll make a i'll decide then then we have the haunting beauty shop and this is halloween candy glosses they look cute i don't know i'll have to see how much they are i know i have a, i know i have a highlight from her and I really, really love it. It's actually in gonna be in an upcoming video here. Next is the Allie Glines. She restocked her bag collection and then she released a classic bag collection, which has a uh, medium sized outer bag and two small bags that fit in it. I think this is like a really, really great idea and I'm really happy to see her doing this. I haven't picked up any of them yet, but probably in the future I will. I heard they're really, really nice. So I'm really happy for her. And then we have the Buy Rito luxury makeup brand. And it has a palette and some lip products. Okay. And the palette looks like it's basically all shimmers. Like, yeah. it look, Maybe that's a matte in the middle. I don't know. If those were mattes, I'd kind of be intrigued. Probably not for the price point. Yeah, I don't know. The color, then there's color six, 16 shades, universal and blendable, can be used on the eyes, lips, and silver tubes lipsticks and a satin in a matte formula 15 shades they're in the horn shaped metallic packaging and then there's a mascara with a fine head wand so it can reach close to the lash line for a true volumizing effect in red packaging green eyeliner and then the palette and some most of this will launch oh wait some of it will launch on october 1st the eyeshadow compact in november and the eyeshadow palette with 18 shades will release in february 2021 so basically more to come on this then nars revealed an addition to the climax family extreme climax extreme eyeshadow palette will be limited edition with 12 shades matte shimmer and metallic for 59 dollars and a mascara for 24 for dramatic volume new loaded pigment complex and xxl ribbed bristle creates volume with latex like black pigments from root to tip so if i'm allergic to latex can i not use that i don't know and that launches i guess today which is august 30th on their website so next is a collection from wet and wild which launches today in store i believe it was already launched on wet and wild's website and this is the coffee cat color icon eyeshadow palette and i believe there's another ice cream palette i'll put that on the screen too and those retail for $8.99 and they have glosses that retail for $2.99 if I can pick this up in store, I'm going to pick it up because I know I've seen a lot of good things about these square wet and wild palettes so far. So I'm going to be looking into that. I think it looks really, really cool. Okay, to save time and making my camera overheat, I'm going to just go in with some of the things that I'm like really, really interested in. Katie Marie, rapid fire. Here we go. So there is a collaborate collaboration between Alien Cosmetics and Bailey Lee. 
Bailey Madison makeup. I think this is cute. I wish there was more mattes in it. There's a lot of shimmers, but I want to see the palette swatched out and then maybe I will make a decision on that. But that is definitely a maybe. And then there is a restock with the Estate Cosmetics and Venice Fling Bailey Sarian palette. It's very neutral. It's not really my cup of tea, but I love Bailey Sarian, would love to support her, but I don't think I'm going to pick it up. Then the Collected Cosmetics Resurrected on 9-1-2020, the Monster Bundle boasting a full-size highlight, five shadows, and a matte lipstick revived by popular demand. Those greens, I love it. Maybe. Lethal Cosmetics revealed the Affinity Collection with nine new lipstick shades. They are approximately $15.50. They launched on 8 29 and they are natural satin finishes vegan and cruelty free. Some of them are cute. I'm not really in the market for lipsticks, especially because of having to wear a mask all the time. 21 Days of Beauty on Alto Beauty will be starting today, August 30th, and running through, I believe, September 19th. 50% off select beauty brands. Make sure you check the products before you buy them. Jen Loves Reviews does a great series on this and seeing if they're actually worth it. So we have Soul Body, who is ColourPop's sister brand, did a cream bronzer and I really really want to pick it up and I probably will but they look really really nice they're a face and body bronzer and possibly going to pick picking those up Kaleidos Makeup will be releasing two new palettes some contour shades and I believe lip glosses and that purple palette is all me. I want that. I'm getting it pre-sale on September 8th. And I believe it officially launches on September 15th. And then we have Glam Light. And this is a sneak peek. They haven't showed the palette yet. But they did show the outer packaging. And I believe that is going to be 912. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. It looks... I'm really curious to see the inside. If I like the inside, I'm probably going to be picking it up. It's supposed to be like living in New York and the ice cream man and all that. And I think it's such a cute idea. Yeah, and I'm really happy to see her like finally be able to you know do it because I guess it took her like a really long time because of the packaging and how detailed it was and then we have the Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay collaboration I really like this. I'm probably going to pick it up if I can get my hands on it. I think it's beautiful. I'm really happy for Nikki. I think she really, really deserves a great collaboration. And I love ordering from Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay does not have really high shipping like other out-of-country brands do because it is an international retailer. So I'm definitely going to be picking that up. Okay, anything else? Okay, Pure is releasing another collection with Barbie. It looks like there is another eyeshadow palette for $34, a blush palette for $32, a glow illuminator for $26, some glosses for $18, $18 for semi-matte liquid lipsticks, a setting spray, a mascara kit, lashes, and a Barbie serum, and a brush, five-piece brush set. This will be available on September 1st. I didn't like the first palette by Barbie and I'm not intrigued in this one not gonna be getting that okay is that it mm, yeah I guess that's really uh I guess there is a sneak peek from Midas it's just like outer packaging and it looks like it says volume 1.2 maybe maybe it's a palette I don't know I'd be excited to try Midas more I have the high times palette and the lemonade palette and I love both of them and then there's also a lip sneak peek from Terra Moon's cosmetics so it looks like maybe they're dropping a collection and I would be so here for that <laughs> And oh, one more thing is the Tiger King palette from Monique Boulet MUA. She has a really great formula. She is an Etsy shop. Check her out. She has some really great shades and she is really good at creating makeup. I love her mattes. So I will be curious to see when the whole palette is revealed. But here is a sneak peek of one of the shades. Oh, last thing restock Naima's Natural Essentials. She restocked her site yesterday and there are limited quantities of products make sure if you want them to get their hand your hands on them super quick i really love her glosses and her lip oils but that is all i have for today let me know what you guys want to pick up this week 
or in the next few weeks, I guess, really. Are you intrigued by makeup right now? I know it's like really hard to spend money on things that really aren't essential because of what's going on. Are you anti-hauling anything? Do you hate it? Do you like it? Are you intrigued? Let me know. Yeah, but that is all I have for you today. Sorry I'm in my car. Sorry about the lighting, whatever, but I really hope you guys have a super great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!